today uh, I'm going to show the combo 3 5. Okay. 3 5. 3 5. Before that, subscribe the channel, give your comments, like, and share the video, okay? So, Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson, yes, used a lot this combination of punches, you know, 3 5, hook, uppercut. And uh, th in this case, I'm going to, to talk about the lead hook and the rear uppercut, okay? Because the hook is with the lead hand and the uppercut is with the rear hand, okay? Well, I can tell you that Mike Tyson uh, always competed in the heavyweight division. Heavyweight division. But Mike Tyson was not very tall, if we are comparing with other heavyweights. Oh, and as you know, the, the people that are taller than the other, they have more reach, right? They have more reach. That wasn't the case of Mike Tyson. But Mike Tyson used the pick and pull technique to get closer to his opponent, okay? To be in a middle short distance and then he used the combo, okay? The combo. Hook, uppercut. So, uh, as I, I showed before, so pick and pull technique was so we are here in the guard position okay and so head movement head movement and of course to get close to the opponent and of course the, I'm closer now to the target and then of course I'm going to use the combo okay of course the black bag is going in this case left side because of the punch I'm gonna I'm gonna show show again. So the combo. So I'm close to the target. Okay, I'm close to the target. So I use first the hook, and then I'm, when when I come back with the hand, I'm going to use the uppercut. Okay, the rear uppercut. In the case of the rear uppercut, I we are going to an uh, ascendant punch. Okay, because it's uh, a punch that goes up, that goes up. So I'm gonna just not only move my arm, okay? Not only move my arm, but I'm gonna move my hip, okay? I'm gonna move my hip. And I'm going to add power to the punch, okay? So hook and then you yeah, go this is a combination of punches that you can use for your self-defense that's true but you have to be in a short middle distance okay to apply it okay because if you are far from your opponent you're you're not going to to to, to land the punches you are not going to land okay of course, you must land the punches to have success in the combo, okay? So, I'm going to show one more time. Now, without, without the bag. So, this combination of punches, 3-5, so lead hook, rear uppercut, explores the side block, side block, because if you are going to receive a side punch, because the hook is side punch, so you are going to block it, okay? But you are, here in the middle you are exposed, you are going to receive so, Mike Tyson used a lot this combo, a lot, okay? And of course, you can use it for your self-defense. But train it 
first, drain it, drain this combo with hook, rear uppercut, okay, drain it, and don't forget, only use this combo when you are close to your opponent, okay, don't forget that. And of course, the details, you know it, I'm gonna say one last time in this video, so, the lead hook, you use, you, you spin a little, a little bit, okay, and then when you come back to, to your hand, you're going to use the rear uppercut using your hip, okay? And I'm going to talk in another video the, the inverse, okay? The inverse, so five, three, okay? It's another combo. And that's it, this is all for today. See you next time.